Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, we are going to be doing another Walking Dead Q&A, and I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the questions and all the support. It really means the world to me. Um, if you want to know how you can get your questions to me for the next Q&A video, the best way to do that is just to drop a comment down below, and uh, just make sure you write Q&A before you ask your question in the comments, so I know it's a question for the Q&A videos and not just a question that you want me to answer in the comments. Thank you guys so much for all the love and the support. Let's get right into it, man. We have quite a few questions. So yeah, first question we have is, would an Aaron and Gabriel spinoff be good? So, I mean, off the top of my head, I don't really think so. I wouldn't be that excited for that. I mean, obviously it could be better than what I was expecting. And obviously if that ever happened and I was wrong, I would say, hey, I was wrong about this. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. But I mean... As a prediction, if that ever happened, no, I don't think it would be that great because in my opinion, to have a successful spinoff, you have to have really watchable great characters leading the way, like a Daryl Dixon, a Rick Grimes, a Michonne, a Negan, a Maggie, someone like that. You have to have really big like S tier or at least A tier characters to lead the way. And in my opinion, I don't think Gabriel or Aaron are S tier or A tier characters for me personally. I mean, they're solid like side characters, but I don't think they're leads, so I mean, it could be good. Yeah, there's some potential there, but I don't really think it would be that incredible at all, especially compared to some of these other spinoffs that we've gotten. Uh, the next question we have is, what if Negan did go through with killing Carl? So, I mean, the entire Walking Dead would have been so different, right? I definitely think if Negan killed Carl, then Negan would have ended up dying. I think Rick would have ended up killing Carl. All that my mercy prevails over my wrath stuff would have gotten tossed out the window for sure. And Rick would have killed Negan 1000% at the end of All Out War. And yeah, I mean, I don't know. Imagine seasons 9, 10, and 11 without Negan. I mean, it would have been so bad, right? It would have been so just dry in my opinion. I don't know. The Walking Dead seemed kind of watered down the last couple of seasons and... Negan really saved The Walking Dead, in my opinion. Those last couple of seasons, you know, were incredible in their own way because of Negan, in my opinion. I really loved Negan in season 10 with the Whisperer storyline where he killed Alpha and all that stuff. That was incredible. And even in season 11, you know, it was just awesome to see Negan in the show still. And obviously he got with that girl. What's her name? Anne or Annie? I don't know. But yeah, it was, it was pretty cool, right? I mean, I'm really interested to know what happened to her, but if Negan actually killed Carl... The Walking Dead would have been way different, and I mean, I definitely think Negan would have died, so that means we wouldn't have gotten Dead City, we wouldn't have gotten Negan in season 9, 10, or 11, and yeah, he would just be gone. And also, we wouldn't have this great opportunity that we have right now, which is a Rick and Negan reunion scene. I mean, that's going to be such an incredible moment. Whenever Rick and Negan do reunite, because they will reunite, I guarantee you, that it's going to happen. When it happens, it's going to be incredible. And if Negan would have killed Carl, all that would have been gone. I mean, that would just all this stuff that we're having right now would have never happened. Dead City, a Rick and Negan reunion, nothing would be happening because obviously he'd be dead probably. So, yeah, I think he definitely would have died. Next question we have is, what if Morales never left the group? Um, I don't really know because I was never the biggest fan of Morales, to be honest. I really didn't like the way they handled his death in the show. I think when he came back, there was some potential there. I think it would have been really cool if... Obviously, he's with the saviors and stuff like that, but what if he died sacrificing himself for Rick and Daryl? What if he said, like, you know, you helped me and my family, you saved me and my family before, so I, I got you. I'm going to save you now, right? Like, I'm going to make sure you get out of here and get back to your family. That would have been awesome, right? What if he, what if Rick talked him out of this weird mind screw he was in, right, with the saviors, and, like, the old Morales came back, and he died, you know, redeeming himself, even though he was just, you know, holding a gun to Rick, he kind of snapped out of it, and thought about his wife and his kids and stuff like that, right, I think that would have been so incredible if he died saving Rick, um, so yeah, I don't know, the way they handled Morales' death was just really annoying to me, it was okay, but I just, I wasn't crazy about it, they could have done something cooler, but I just feel like it would have been so much cooler if he died saving Rick and Daryl, you know, I thought it would have been really, really cool if he kind of snapped out of it and remembered who Rick was and what he did for him and stuff back in season one and how he just was such a good guy and everything. I don't know, but it is what it is. Um, I don't really know. He probably just would have ended up dying a regular death, um, probably getting eaten trying to save his family or something. Next question we have is, what if Shane never went crazy over Lori? So I think about this one all the time, actually. That's a great question because Shane was a very complex character and a very great character, in my opinion, very watchable. John Bernthal extremely watchable that's somebody you could have made a spinoff about that's somebody that could lead the walking dead show in my opinion um and I, I would have loved to have seen it man i really think that if shane wasn't crazy about Lori, i thought it would have been so awesome if 
he never died and he just ended up leaving the group and then imagine if shane ended up being with the saviors or something right what if he ended up becoming negan's right hand man and in season six they you know ended up crossing paths and rick and shane had interactions and stuff and what if Shane ended up kind of being like Dwight, you know what I mean, and, and helping the group out down the road and stuff like that? That would have been so incredible, man. So in the end, to answer your question, if Shane never went crazy over Laurie, I think he would have been one of the greatest characters in the history of The Walking Dead. And I think him and Rick would have had this incredible bond. And imagine a Shane death scene. Imagine if Negan killed Shane. What if they went that path, right? What if they went down that path? I mean, that would have been just crazy, man. I don't know. I think uh, there were so many missed opportunities with uh, the way they handled Shane, and I really wish if they would have changed anything from the comics to the show when they adapted it to the TV screen. I wish Shane could still be alive today. I love John Bernthal. I loved Shane. I know he wasn't the greatest guy, but if he could have changed, there was so much opportunity there. Ugh, makes me so angry. Uh, next question we have is, um, what if Morgan and his son never found Rick? I mean, I mean, hey, if they... We just probably would have never known about him, you know, and I'm glad that he did because I'm glad we really got to see a lot of Morgan and Lenny James. And obviously he went over to fear the walking dead and stuff because I liked Lenny James before the walking dead. He was in this show called Jericho and it's actually a pretty decent show. I think it only has one or two seasons, but if you guys haven't seen Jericho, I definitely recommend it. It's a solid watch and Lenny James is really great in that show. So I mean, yeah, I'm really happy that Morgan did find Rick because, I mean, they have such a great bond. And once again, if he never found Rick, then we wouldn't be talking about this awesome reunion between Morgan and Rick that might be happening sometime soon within the next couple of years. I mean, we're probably going to get a Morgan and Rick reunion scene. So hopefully we get to see that. Um, next question we have is, what if Negan did meet the Rick he said he wouldn't want to mess with from the episode Remember? So you're talking about in Season 7, Episode 4 which I believe is called is titled Service, when Negan finds that video recorder of Rick whenever uh, Deanna was interviewing them, right? I think he's definitely right that he wouldn't want to mess with that guy for sure because, in my opinion, the bearded Season 5 Rick would have handled the all-out war situation a lot differently, and I think that Rick probably would have ended up dying in the process of killing Negan, especially when Carl died, right? If it was like that same Season 5 version of Rick... I definitely think that Rick would have never let Negan walk away, no matter what. Like, it just wouldn't have happened. Season 5 Rick was just a different animal. Like, the Rick that macheted Gareth in the church? Like, yeah, that, yeah, no. Negan, there's no plot armor that could have saved, saved Negan from that guy. That guy was a different animal. So I definitely believe if, if Negan ran into or met that version of Rick, Negan would have died 1,000%. He is not walking away from All Out War alive. He might be walking away as a walker, but he's not walking away as a living, breathing person. 1,000% he would have died. Um, great questions, man. So the next one we have, the next question we have here is, thoughts on the Walking Dead Destinies and how poorly it was received? Have you played it? And if so, what would you do to change the game to get the fans what they would have wanted? So I have not played Walking Dead Destinies. I watched this YouTuber named Movie Fusion play it um, on his gaming channel, I believe. I think the gaming channel is called Expert Fusion. Um... If you guys haven't checked out Movie Fusion or Expert Fusion, I definitely recommend you guys to check him out. He does like reviews and reactions and stuff like that of all the Walking Dead stuff and also tier lists and all kinds of stuff. Super cool dude. Um, we actually played Call of Duty a couple times together and yeah, he's just a great dude. So if you guys haven't checked him out, make sure you check him out. Man, I would love to do a video or like some sort of like discussion video with Movie Fusion someday. That dude is just a really awesome guy. And he's really passionate about The Walking Dead too. He really loves The Walking Dead. It's his favorite show ever, um, you know, as it is with all of us too, most likely, right? So yeah, I mean, he's just a great guy. Um, but no, I watched him play it and I never actually played it just because I watched his playthrough uh, from start to finish and it's really entertaining man you guys need to go watch movie fusion or expert fusion play the walking dead destinies it's super super entertaining um but obviously i'm very like into video games and i knew that you know from just watching the trailer i knew that a lot of people were not going to like this game because i mean the graphics are really bad the voice acting is pretty bad you know there's really no like cinematic cutscenes. they just show like pictures with audio playing over it and it's pretty like low quality for a video game with like the walking dead title on it you know um i don't know there's a lot you'd have to change about that game i just personally would have never come out with that game i would have just scrapped the whole project to be honest i really think the idea is cool it's a great concept with really poor execution in my opinion i think it's 
I think it's a really cool idea. Kind of rewrite the story. You know, you can let Shane live or this person live or that character live. It's a really, really cool idea for hardcore fans of the Walking Dead TV show. But man, they really needed a bigger budget and just a just a way better like gameplay structure and you know i think some more like rpg elements would have been pretty sweet as well um i don't know man that game is pretty atrocious though to be honest and yeah that's kind of my thoughts on it, it sucks that the walking dead can't really get like an awesome like high quality high budget game like imagine you know for those of you who are gamers imagine a game like days gone or the last of us or something like that right imagine a studio like naughty dog or sucker punch or um, insomniac you know what I mean? Making a Walking Dead game. Or Sony Bend, you know, the people who made Days Gone. I don't know if you guys have ever played Days Gone. It's a fantastic game. If you have not played Days Gone, go play it. It's brilliant. But imagine a studio like that making a Walking Dead game. I mean, it would be brilliant. It would be incredible. But every time The Walking Dead comes out with a game, besides the Telltale games, they're just all garbage, really. It's kind of unfortunate. Even Survival Instinct. I mean, I liked that game when I was a kid, when I was like 12 or 13 years old, I think. But yeah, the older I got, I just realized, like, this game is just not that great. But, uh, yeah, Destiny's, man, it was just all over the place. And there's really nothing they could do to save that game. They just should have never come out with it, to be honest. It just wasn't ready. They needed a better budget and, like I said, more RPG elements and just a better structure overall. And it was just kind of a disappointment, to be honest. But, hey, Movie Fusions Playthrough or Expert Fusions Playthrough, fantastic. Would recommend. Next question we have is, what if Rick and Shane swap places at the beginning of The Walking Dead? Um... I mean, yeah, I, like if, if Shane had Rick's story, I mean, it would be a lot different. Obviously, the characters are different. They have similar traits in certain ways, but I don't know, man. I think they made the right decision with letting Andrew Lincoln be Rick and have that whole story and everything like that. I just, I don't know, I wish Shane wouldn't have died, kind of like I mentioned earlier. You know, I just, I wish Shane wouldn't have died, man. I really love John Bernthal. He's so watchable, and Shane was such a brilliant character, and he played him so well. He just, every time I see John Bernthal, I'm like, that's Shane, bro. You're Shane. You're not the Punisher to me. You're Shane, bro. And yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, if they switch places, I mean, obviously the story would have been way different, right? It would have been, I mean, Shane's a lot more, I think, hot-headed than Rick, so Shane probably wouldn't have really made it that deep into The Walking Dead, I don't think. I think Shane probably would have died around, like, season four or three. I definitely think Shane would have died during the governor arc, for sure, if, like, Shane was the leader of the group, right? I don't believe that he could have ever sat down with the governor like Rick did and talked, and maybe, maybe that would have been better. I don't know, but I think in the end, Shane probably would have ended up getting killed, um, Kind of almost like how Merle died in a way, trying to go take him out and then just getting killed. So that's what I think. Um, we have a few more questions, guys. Um, Q&A, do you feel Tales of the Walking Dead should include past characters? And absolutely, man. I think a Sasha and Tyrese Tales of the Walking Dead episode would be so incredible. And there was rumors about that. Um, there, there were some rumors about that back in the day. I don't know what happened to that, but people were saying that uh, there was going to be a Sasha and Tyrese like throwback episode, so before they found the prison, and I mean that would have been really sweet. I think you know stuff like that is really really awesome, and they kind of did something like that with Alpha, right? The episode I think it's called D, right? I believe. Um, I never actually watched it, but I saw clips and stuff, and it looked like people actually enjoyed that episode a decent amount, right? Um, but absolutely, it should include past characters. Um, and here's a really great question, man. We're coming on like the last two questions for the Q and A, man. So, um. You know, this one's really, really great, and so is the last one. This one says, Q&A, could Carl actually have been the future of The Walking Dead? Was Chandler Riggs watchable enough as an actor to be the lead of The Walking Dead franchise? Was his death actually good or bad for the franchise? There's so much controversy with Carl. I'm very curious to know your thoughts. So, I mean, incredible question, first of all. Very, very well said and very well worded. Um, and, I mean, I don't actually believe Carl was the future of the walking dead in my opinion i never really liked carl that much you know i never ever watched carl on the screen and was like yeah that's the future that's the leader that's going to be the leader of you know alexandria someday or the leader of you know could he have been the leader of the commonwealth heck no right like i don't know i just never really liked carl that much to be honest he was okay but he was always just rick's son you know what i mean it was never about carl being carl or this awesome complex unique character it was like his title to me was always just Rick's son. And I think, you know, Chandler Riggs, maybe it was his acting. I don't know. I know a lot of people complained about that. There were a couple, like, cringy moments, in my opinion, where I thought he wasn't doing the greatest job uh, in terms of, like, portraying emotion and stuff like that onto the screen or whatever. But 
he uh he was okay i didn't think he was a i don't think he's a bad actor guys but in the end regardless the way that he was written the way that chandler riggs played him i don't know i just i don't really think there was any potential for carl to be the future lead of the walking dead like the next rick grimes or the next negan or the next daryl like absolutely not never in a million years i don't think so so yeah that's just my thoughts on that man uh and the last question we have today is and it's a Another fantastic question, man. Save the best for last, right? How would you write the reunion phase of all the characters being so far away from each other? Or, excuse me, how would you write the reunion phase with all the characters being so far away from each other? So, I mean, it's a great question because all the characters are so far away, but you have to find a way to get them all to get them all together back home, right? That's kind of what it comes down to. Like, they have to all get together and be back home. So, It'll be hard. I think Carol brings Daryl back. That's what I'm thinking. Um, I heard that The Walking Dead Dead City takes place like 10 years after the main show ended. So maybe whenever Rick goes back home in The Ones Who Live, maybe Maggie and Negan are at the Commonwealth and just living a regular life and stuff like that whenever Rick gets back, right? I don't know. Um, maybe that's why in Dead City they never mention Rick or anything like that because it's just like a normal thing. Like Rick's just back, right? And it's like no new surprise. There's no reason to really talk about him, right? I don't know. Um Maybe Rick banished Negan, and that's why Negan was out there, and Maggie was trying to find him. I don't know. There's so much potential, right, with that. And um, I think, you know, Rick and Negan reuniting would be incredible. And we just don't really know. The timeline and the story, you know, the storyline or the timeline of The Walking Dead and all these spinoffs, it is very complicated, especially for the casual viewer to keep up with. I mean, it is very, very difficult. So, I mean, I just don't really know in the end, man. But I know for sure Daryl has to get back home. He has to get out of Europe and all that stuff. And... You know, we don't really know. Rick's back right now. Dead City takes place like 10 years after the main show ended. So, I mean, the reunion phase, I believe, is coming soon. So I think, you know, it's all set up pretty well as of right now, in my opinion. I just think that we need to have like Dead City Season 2 end. Um, and I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I don't really know if that's a fact that Dead City takes place 10 years after or whatever. But we'll just have to wait and see, man. But... Maybe there's going to be a big time jump that's going to connect everything. I just, I don't know, man. It's all kind of a little bit messy, but I'm sure Scott Gimple has a master plan, and uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. But off the top of my head, I can't really tell you. I just know that you have to get the characters home, and then I think things become a lot easier if Carol just brings Daryl back home, right? And we'll have to wait and see. But, you know, will we see any Rick Grimes references in Daryl Dixon Season 2? Maybe. You know, are we going to have any scenes of Rick in Daryl Dixon Season 2? I don't really know. Norman Reedus talked about the finale of Daryl Dixon season two, saying it's like the best one hour Walking Dead event of all time. So could he just be hyping it up? Probably, but maybe there's some truth to that. We'll have to wait and see later this year whenever Daryl Dixon airs. So that's it, man. That's the video. Long video, 18 minutes. I appreciate you guys if you stayed all the way through. Remember, if you have any other questions that you want me to answer, just drop them down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, just make sure you put Q&A before you ask the question. And that's going to do it, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks for all the love. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more Walking Dead content like this. Make sure you guys stay safe out there in the crazy world, man. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.